It's pretty much tradition on the Clark campus to snow before spring break, only for spring break to have beautiful weather and melt the snow away. We got our second biggest snowstorm um, a few days before spring break, but as you can see, the snow is almost entirely gone. I mean, not that I'm complaining, it's like 52 today, and it's absolutely beautiful. That's kind of the essence of uh, New England weather. It snows one day, and then it's sunny and beautiful the next. On days like these, the campus is usually covered with people on the green, throwing frisbees and just hanging out. So here's hoping that this beautiful weather continues. But now, for science. Recently, I've been doing one-step quantitative PCR reactions, and already the reactions are running more smoothly. Although my data is highly variable, though precise, it's a step in the right direction. To avoid contamination from work that I've already done in my lab, I've been doing work in a lab just down the hall. This is the bench where I've been setting up my reactions. The difference between one-step PCR and what I've been doing previously is that um, both the cDNA and the ampl amplifications are done in one step as opposed to making the cDNA first. So into the reaction tube is everything I need to do the project. The reverse transcriptase, the cyber green, and everything else to make the cDNA and give me my end results. While this is slightly easier, it's also slightly problematic. And that's because we're not controlling for the amount of cDNA that's generated. Because reverse transcriptase is not 100% effective, we are going to have varying rates of cDNA being generated from our RNA. And previously, with a two-step quantitative PCR, we make the cDNA first and then add that to the quantitative PCR reactions. But since we're doing this all in one go with the one step, we can't control for the amount of cDNA that's being made. So one step is better for uh, comparing the amount of um, transfer being made between two samples as a more of a positive or negative approach. Nonetheless, I'm still um, tweaking these experiments to see if we can get um, these reactions to work because we have plenty of one-step quantitative PCR reactions left. 